War machines are mostly driven using fuel oil. Therefore the refueling depot is always the target of destruction when the war is carried out. In order to hinder the movement of the enemy due to running out of fuel or a reduced supply of fuel for their war machines, and that's what Russia did where a fuel depot in eastern Ukraine fired a missile and finally exploded. A large fireball coil is rumored to be one of the refueling for the Ukrainian military we'll in the GPU the region of eastern Ukraine. The president of Ukraine. Many parties that the bombing so or targeting of this depot was an attempt by Russia to cut off the supply of fuel to the Ukrainian me. military. SS for not there is no information regarding casualties from this attack According in the last one like this is the situation of the war full of explosions and smoldering fires. Say On the second day of the Russian invasion of Ukraine the Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation reported the results of the second day and accept all the conditions Special military operations and on face as many as 211 Ukrainian military infrastructure facilities have been destroyed by air defense systems radar station command post and communication complexes until the airports were successfully disabled by Russia. There are 17 command posts and communication centers of the Ukrainian Armed Forces 19 anti-aircraft missile systems S-300 and OSA-39 radar stations can be neutralized. Russia, in just two days from here, we can learn that a hollow air defense system can have very fatal consequences. Because only with precision cruise missiles Russia can cripple more than 50% of the Ukrainian military force. Not only that, all Ukrainian ground forces are currently being swept from city to city. Troops who do not want to surrender who do not want to go home will be sent back by the Russian troops. Even the expensive imported weapons from England anti-tank from England have been obtained by Russia. And reportedly the Russian troops are now approaching the capital of Kiev will the Ukrainian capital fall in less than three days of course. If NATO and American mass organizations go down directly to face Russia, but if not, of course it's only a matter of time. Russia currently holds more than 7,000 nuclear warheads which are very dangerous for the Blue Continent.